Hello friends, welcome to Upedia. My name is Virendra Saklani and today I am going to discuss with you some of the vacancies uh, which have been released by Coal India Limited for management trainee posts. So we have already discussed with you in detail uh, the number of posts and uh, the, uh, the different areas uh, that uh, management trainees are required. So today I am going to focus more specifically uh, in one particular domain that is the uh, materials management domain for which they need uh, management trainees, right? So this notification you already may be having the idea that we have already uploaded on the YouTube and you may be having the access to it. And the last date is uh, already you know that is the 7th of August. So these are, uh, these are the requirements uh, or these are the vacancies uh, which they have published for uh, this materials management uh, domain, right? As a, uh, that is the management trainees. So total number of vacancies are 115, right? So see, and uh, this is a very big opportunity that you can just think of because you know all these posts, that means all these vacancies will be filled to the computer based test and there will be no interview. So it means if you will prepare well for these vacancies, so I think you are going to, you stand a very good chance uh, for this post and you know all the facility perks, they are quite good, right. So if for example, if you have lost or if you have not availed the opportunity maybe through gate or other examination, I think this is a very, uh, it's a golden opportunity for you uh, to prepare for this exam. So just have a look, what is the eligibility criteria who all can apply for this materials management uh, domain. So Basically, the basic degree required is either electrical or mechanical engineer, but in addition you need to have MBA or you already know that we sometimes also call it as a PG diploma in management. But uh, keep it in mind, it is not that a specific uh, uh, management domain they are asking for. It is not like someone who has done in supply chain only or let us say who has done in um, marketing only. So this is anyone who is let us say who is from any particular domain whether it is from finance whether it is from marketing say, uh, marketing domain or whether it is from uh, let us say hr anyone can apply for these posts uh, which will be for the material management see material management is a general term basically it is related to the this is a part of the supply chain right so it is not that only people who are having expertise in supply chain they can only handle this role so the people for example who are let us say from hr domain or let us say uh, marketing domain they also can handle that particular domain provided they have requisite amount of training. So obviously when you get into that job, they provide that training. So but obviously you need to have some basic knowledge related to that domain that much is uh, expected from you. So this is what is required. So all the domains, whatever may be your specialization in uh, uh, MBA, all of you can just appear for this particular, uh, this uh, these vacancies, right? So then uh, test part also uh, you can have the idea even though I think in one of the video Ruchin sir has also explained it but that was related to another domain but you are going to have two papers and each paper will be of 100 marks. One mark questions are going to be over there and there will be no negative marking, no penalty, right. So total 200 marks, paper 1, paper 2 that means uh, single sitting exam only uh, and uh, MCQ will be, it will be MCQ paper and the minimum qualifying marks for you to be considered for these posts, for general it is 40 and then OBC 30, uh, 35 and uh, SE is 30. So uh, that means uh, uh, this is the overall pattern of this particular examination that you are going to face for these po posts. And uh, as I told you that selection is going to be based upon entirely on the your performance on the computer based test. And there will be no interview. So that ha they have very clearly mentioned it over here. So that is why I am saying this is a very golden opportunity because what happens is sometimes you are able to score very well in the uh, this uh, written examination. But when you have different stages like you are having GD, you are having group task, you are having interviews, so you know all those stages. So if you are not able to perform well, then you are out. But in this case, if you will put it, uh, 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 you are uh, kind of, uh, you are performing well in the written test, I think you stand a, uh, stand a very good chance, okay. So what they are going to do is basically they are saying that they are going to call you in the ratio of 1 is to 3. That does not mean you are giving, uh, give, they are giving the final offer. They will simply shortlist you. So in the ratio of 1 is to 3, 3 times they will call you and then they will verify your, and th that will be entirely based upon the computer based test only, online test. And then they will carry out the document verification and that uh, initial medical examination. Once that is carried out, then they will uh, put up the merit list. 
of all these candidates right because you know there are many candidates who uh, may leave also or you who are having other options also sometimes they can leave so that means if they are given you the merit list then obviously uh, uh, those who are having that lower in that particular or waiting list you can just think of they will get the chance that is why they are shortlisting more right so uh, that is how the selection process is going to be now let us come to the syllabus part so as of now uh, officially they have not released the syllabus but whatever i am going to discuss with you or the syllabus part that i am going to discuss with you is based upon the previous whatever exam that has happened and this is i think we, it is uh, of 2016 and 17 that year so this syllabus that i am going to discuss with you is of that particular year and also some additional topic which we think that that could be added over here that i also also be adding you at the uh, or mentioning at the end right so uh, just if you see first part because you are having two papers so first paper is related to like your general english reasoning part and all that which uh, i think in all the most common examination that you appear for in all examination this part uh, remains so i think this part uh, you need to prepare so this is the uh, paper one for 100 marks right and then in paper two uh, they have this syllabus which they have i am telling you this is not the latest syllabus but this is syllabus based upon the past uh, previously the exam that, that they have conducted that i am going to mention or share with you over here so these are the i think four areas which they have mentioned over there one is the basic uh, principle and practices related to basically material management basically material management basically this role is of purchasing side in supply chain domain you are having a purchasing as a big domain right so that is why if you will see or most of the areas which are over there they are related to supply chain or somehow related to purchasing right for example if you see uh, if you are having a scope of material management and supply chain management in general so now point is that in this syllabus if you will see it is not that entirely that you have covered in your any particular domain even if you are from supply chain domain let's say if you have done your uh, that uh, pg diploma in uh, supply chain only let's say so even then you would have not covered all these areas some bits and pieces you may have covered for example if i say do you know about supply chain management of course even if you are from hr background you may be knowing about it even if you are from the marketing domain you may be knowing about it right but in entirety if i will ask you you may not be knowing for example if i ask you this one you may be having the idea you may have studied but value analysis you may be not be having that much idea or maybe make and buy decisions how they are carried out and how vendor analysis is done that you may not be having uh, idea and these areas how the business correspondence is done and uh, how what kind of softwares and all that which are used in uh, purchasing segment all those things so in this area which is the basic part of this uh, material management some uh, topics have been mentioned over here in which you may be some of the topics you are you may be familiar with but many areas you may not be same is the situation in the second topic for example when we talk specifically about the this uh, material purchase management so just have a look over here there are many areas like uh, economic order so if you have gone through the inventory portion you may be comfortable or you may be having little idea but if i ask you about the tendering process you may not be having idea because it's a practical part that you have you are normally getting exposed to so you need to basically this is a practical aspect that you need to cover right not difficult but point is you may not be aware purchasing style contracts and purchase order ethical concepts again when we talk about the ethical concepts in purchase so this becomes the part of ethics values and ethics right so same ways more specifically if you see coal in the limited purchase manual so even though you may be having the idea but you are not uh, having the idea specific to that domain that is of coal india limited so you need to have that idea also and down there if you see again like in co terms letter of credit maybe some of you may be having idea little idea but there are a lot of in co terms so more specifically you need to have the for example uh, uh, fob for and all those though, free on board and something like that so there are so many in co terms that you need to have because for example if you are importing uh, a few shipments or exporting or something so related to those all those uh, terms are going to appear over here letter of credit some of you may be knowing for example if you are from finance you may be knowing so letter of credit is basically instrument kind of uh, methodology to make the payment or receive the payments so all these things you need to have in addition to the different uh, these uh, laws or acts which are related to the purchase particularly with respect to the Uh, these organizations which are uh, these um, public sector undertakings and other th also other things which have been mentioned over here so i think uh, so little idea you need to have same thing over here store and inventory management again if you see you are going to have the idea of the inventory 
which is mentioned over here. So need of inventory. So some portion definitely you're going to have the idea and many are the areas where you may not be having that much idea, right? So this is a syllabus which is uh, over there uh, of last syllabus and also like you need to have the computer awareness. So I don't think that you may have gone, you may be having idea because you are not focusing on that portion, but definitely they, they uh, expect that, okay, you must be well versed with the computers operating and all that. Uh, so basic knowledge part, uh, which you will be exposed to when you will start actually working. So that part also is mentioned to over, over here. In addition to it, what I expect is, see, this is a public sector undertaking and you know, uh, coal in the limited is, uh, limited is in the mining of the coal. Significant as you know, uh, almost 80% of the that uh, coal is uh, mined by coal in the limited. So these are some of the areas which I think are going to be of quite helpful and maybe, must be, I think uh, they are going to be included over there. So uh, we have identified, uh, identified a few one and uh, we will be discussing with you a few more in detail at a later stage. But for example, uh, Financial management. Financial management is not the domain of uh, only those who have done MBA in finance. It is the domain of every person who is working in that organization, right? So whether you are in purchase or whether you are in marketing, everyone has to have the idea of basic of financial management. That part need to be covered. Break-even analysis, marginal costing concept that it need to be. So I think you may be having a little idea of uh, break-even analysis also. And some portion which is related to somehow related to environment because it is in coal mining. So, you know, Coal is a significant polluter to the environment in terms of an utilization and all that. So you need to talk about like health risk management because mining and related activities related to that. Environmental management system and national environmental policy. These are the some of the areas, additional areas which we think they will be included in that particular part. So uh, we have, as you know, uh, already uh, in the first video that we launched, we have already mentioned that uh, we are going to launch that module. So uh, the basic part I have already told you uh, for further guidance you can contact the uh, Europedia executives they can give you the detailed information related to the uh, module how we are going to launch it or how that uh, is going to be whole thing is going to be over there and also you will get the idea as we will be coming up with the uh, different videos on these content specifically by taking one one and one uh, that means uh, picking up some of the areas and Obviously, uh, as such, you can get the idea that, okay, how the things are going to uh, move forward, okay? So, I think if you need some additional information related to this, because I think this is a very good chance. So, please uh, uh, just contact the UPD executive. There you can get that information. So, I think that is all from my side. And if something relevant we find that, okay, we need to share with you, definitely we are going to come and uh, is going to share with you. So, that's all from my side for today. See you next time. Till then, bye. Thank you.